In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the fantastic new Harlequin multi-layer dies from Presscut to give this beautiful paper piece sort of real Harlequin look to it. I'm going to use a slightly simpler version, but it will show you exactly how it's done. It is very, very simple, and it just uses the way that the dies were designed to make it simple as easy as possible. So what we're going to do, I'm going to bring in the dies, and for this one, I'm only going to be using layer A. So I simply need layer A of the die, and I'm going to cut this quite a few multiple times. But to make this a little bit easier, I've done some of the cutting already. So to start with, I've already cut the multi-layer in black. So you probably won't see this very well, so we'll show you there. So this multi-layer has been cut as black, which is the perfect base. The next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of my double-sided adhesive sheet. So just going to flick off the protective sheet and I'm going to put that down so I'm putting that down on the desk so this is the sticky section I'm going to turn the piece over onto the reverse so this now is the back showing up and I'm going to put the adhesive on top so we pop it on top we just turn that over and this sheet has stopped it from sticking to the desk and I can use this just to polish off to make sure that everything is stuck down. So what I would suggest is you use that protective sheet just to keep that adhesive clean while you do the next stage. So for the next stage, you want to cut your piece in a piece of alternate card. So I'm going to use here a piece of light yellow. So I'm going to take dye again I'm going to take the die again, pop it down on the plate, and we're just going to run that through our die cutting machine on a normal sandwich. But what you want to do when you're cutting this is make sure that you are cutting downwards. Even though you know if you normally cut upwards, cut downwards on this, it will all make sense in a second. Okay, so our die is now cut. I want to take the top plate off. And what I want to do is I don't want to remove the die. This is my Crafts 2 jewel picker tool. You can use your pokey tool, but what you want to do is push on every piece of what would normally be the fall away, just to help to release it from the die. Because what we want to do is leave these pieces, if possible, in place, as it makes it a lot easier to put them in. So just going through, pushing each one, giving you... So when I take the die off, it's left all of the pieces in place, which makes it a lot easier. Now, what you would do is you would bring in your piece with the adhesive. And again, I'm using my Crafts 2 Jewel Picker tool. And all I want to do is pick up a piece out of there and drop it into place. Really, really simple. Now, if I take this one here, I want to show you the way that this die was designed. So just make sure I've got this. I've been using this a little bit too much. I'll pop that one out, sorry. Okay. Now, that's designed to go there, but they were designed so that you can pop them in any position. It's really, really very simple. So you don't have to worry about them being in exactly the place on there that it was. You can pick out any one. So this is one from the base here I'm taking out. I can rotate it and it will still fit in there. And that's how the die was designed so that the pieces will work that way. But what I've actually done is I've already done one here and already gone through with the bright yellow or the ochre card. So what I simply need to do now is to piece in all of the pieces in the lighter yellow to give me that tonal change. And in the original card, if you saw the original card, it was done with four colours. I'm just doing this one with three to make it a little bit easier for me. So all I need to do now is go in and piece all of these in there. So we'll come back in a minute when I've done that. So I've put all of the yet light yellow pieces in and I've done exactly the same this time with a piece of red. And what I've actually done is I just pushed through the red circles. So the rest is sitting remaining in the die. So I'm just gonna roughly pop these in don't worry at this stage if you go off a little bit. I just find it so much easier using the jewel picker. 
to pick these up and drop them in. So I'm just going to put them roughly into place because one of the things that I find with this is it gets a little, after a while, it can get a little bit um, repetitive. So you want to do them as quickly as you possibly can. Although to be fair, I found it quite relaxing as well. So I'm just going to go in with all of the circles. There we go. Let's get the last one from there. And then you want to be careful. You'll find that the half circles for each side, there are two sides that have half circles, are sometimes slightly different. So just make sure you're getting those from the right side. So we'll drop these in. Okay, so we're picking these up popping each one in very simply. And this is the point when you'll notice, which is what I've noticed here, if you've missed any, because I've just noticed that I've actually missed some of the yellow in here. But again, you'll keep all, make sure you keep all of the pieces and you put them in. Or the other thing to do is what I sometimes do with this is I put the sentiment over the bit that I've actually missed so no one will actually notice. So we get that one in. So that's most of those in. But all I'm then going to do is just take a pokey tool and just drag them into the right space. So as I say, don't worry when you're putting them in that they're going slightly wrong because the adhesive is only in the centre. You get that little bit of wriggle room, that little bit of time just to move them around with your pokey tool and pop them exactly into place. So I'm just going through now moving these and that's why i use the jewel picker it's very very light and doesn't push them down it just literally drops them in so there we've got nearly all of it completed i've missed a little bit in one corner so i could go and get the die take that piece out so i've got that piece there pick that one up turn it over and we'll get that into place and I've got a few little pieces of yellow missing. So again, you use the pokey tool, but I could easily fill those pieces in. And I've simply got a nice plain card blank with the red and the black facing it. We'll pop that on and then we would decorate that with a sentiment in the centre. Or we'll probably a little spray of flowers in that area. I'll bring in the one we did earlier. So on this one, I used the light yellow, the darker yellow, a light green, a dark green, the red and the black and some of the Calypso flowers around the edge. But again, takes about half an hour, but really is worthwhile and gives you something totally different. If you bring in the original, you can see there we've got some two completely different looks from exactly the same die set.